you're dead. What it do, what it do, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for clicking this video. And it's about to rain. So yes, I'm lighting here. But today, we are gonna finally be playing with Requiem Roana, which took about one week to actually gear. Now, as you can probably tell, she's on Unity attack set just because I like Unity set <laughs> and I have some extra attack pieces just laying around. And she's on Unity set and Crimson Moon because the game keep giving me more, more the Crimson Moon, give me about 12% dual attack chance. And I think the dual attack chance cap is 20%, 23. And then she's at 11% plus the extra 12% when it's not her turn. And she had more effective, so it's hopefully it turns out to be really good where I can just dual attack or defense break somebody's life away. For you guys don't know, she don't have any Mulligora, so we are going to grace a gross her. So her S1 has a defense break up to, I'm pretty sure, a 75% chance, and it cannot trigger, trigger a critical hit. I'm pretty sure you guys know by this, her combat readiness increase provided by speed is reduced by speed, so she has half of her speed, so if you happen to make it like 300 speed for some reason, it's half of that. <laughs> so she's technically still good go if you get her 300 speed. I don't have the gear for that. <laughs> I probably would make a video about her making 300 speed for no reason. She could probably take her turn without the first person moving, but she'd be really squishy by then. And her S3 dis dispel one buff at minus one cooldown and counter rate is by 30%. It cannot trigger, tr trigger counter hit at penetrate defense, so. With this Grace of Girl, she should be A-OK. -okay. And we're gonna be using Albedo. We're gonna try some some funky units. What other units that we can we go roll her Ghana just in case? God, if 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 I had Flan, if Flan came out today, could she get a dual attack when she has focus, right? If she had like Rose Ghana or something, she defense break with her ass for and then we bring Rec I don't think she could dual attack with her. She can dual attack with her when it's her turn. Oh boy. Oh, this is about to be fun. <laughs> All right, game number one. I know a lot of people are kind of like, actually, why do you go to certain build in GBG? And obviously we could bring Zeal for the first group because everybody bring Rada, but we're gonna play it super safe just because I wanted to see. Even though I know my Phyllis is not the fastest, or we could bring Albedo. But she also has a plus 30 rocket punch. Oh, we can just go full rocket punch this game. How fast is my Albedo? Albedo's only like 182. But the thing is, she won't get hit by Katarina. So we would fill this just because the if we get multiple dual uh, counterattacks, that it would have been a world of pain. And we also brung, uh, we should have put her in front, but if we use our S3, then she won't move up as much. At the bottom, we got a Miki, Archdemon, and then we got Doris. Because this is her steady here. Let's see if we can survive this. <laughs> like usually the first game I usually just uh Death is coming play it out. I hope you Alright, so DDR is faster than two hundred speed. Everything is going to be alright. Brace yourself. Which is honestly good. If you don't mind. Yeah, what an S3. I was gonna save it, but I was like, we'll use the S3. Hopefully we get a barrier and revive okay, we gotta revive. We got crit chance <laughs> We got crit chance on your girl wreck roar. We can't do that. Mm. And we can't provoke because you got immunity. This is going for two turns. And the thing is, I want to honestly get rid of the defense break because, you know, rocket punch scales with defense. Throw with an S3. That is the only damage we really have. Besides our S1 that we could possibly use multiple times in a row. Gotta they go everything. I gotta do some of that damage. She got revive. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of her. Slapper. No dually. Can we get a dually? We can actually push her like. Let's do it for the dually. Didn't get one. <laughs> didn't get didn't get the dually. We'll save her. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> we didn't get a dually. I'm pretty sure there's a 21% chance to max out dual attack chance, right? So we'll go with the obvious team. They go with the obvious team. So we'll see if we get a seal on her, which is obviously great. 
by your side until death do I that mean we go focus on BBK now blade dragon uh. think you can handle this there's no looking back so we're gonna get her immunity over here what are you doing we're gonna slap her twice <laughs> Will no longer hide. I, am I not clicking her? I say, am I not clicking her? So I'm gonna push her up and clear this off. I smell living creatures. We'll get another seal if we can. Can you handle this? I was hoping we get another seal. Because if we got another seal, then that would have been great. So we don't have to worry about her losing her immortality. We still can't hit her. Damn. So I'll become Ash. That's so unfortunate. That's everything went unfortunate. We got stud. Okay, that was a little bit unfortunate on our side, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. Goodbye, our Steven. Okay, that was a little bit unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. This, I will return to imbue you with darkness. Imbue with darkness. Why do you always get stunned? Why do one character that I need to not get stunned get stunned the whole time? All right, game number two. Since we failed the first one really miserably, we're gonna bring the a pretty meta team for Roana, which is. We have Luna that's at 300 speed, so she will go first. And oh, at a Conceptor, as you guys probably know. So she will go right after. And because Rana goes after, we bring Sid, because he's, well, he's on book, you guys already know this. And he will push back the highest CR. So if Celine happened to magically miss a seal through effect and res, then we're going to be in some trouble. We're going to knock him back, and then we can do some other things, like blow him up. Per se. And in bottom, we got Taiwei, we got Candy, and we also have Illy, which is on Holy Sack. But here's the thing: I hope my Candy can counterattack. This is why I brung her. She can't be she can't be uh, stunned from T Wayne, from a Taiwei. But Taiwei can't you know get stunned either, and the person in the back can't get stunned. So nobody can be stunned on this team. But I'm hoping that her Elbrus goes off from. I hope her Elbrus can go off. <laughs> that's, that's, usually Candy just picks her nose until everybody knows, like, wait, I got a counterattack. <laughs> so here's the thing. We're going to soul burn S3. I hope we get sealed. It doesn't activate Selene whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But when we S3 and minus one her, if we minus one her, unless it miss, unless no, she don't secret art, she can, we can miss. Oh, 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 she got a counter. Come on, blow him up. Please land a bomb, Sid. You have like 150 is effect of this. Please land a bomb on one person. I'm gonna get rid of her because she's on counter. And we gotta get rid of uh, Bridal just because Bridal. What does Silver do? Here's a chance of defense break by two turns. I will save it for her later. I will save it for her. Time to end our twisted fate. We're, we're gonna do this to her. Hopefully, she's out of a counterattack. Exist. <laughs> Soul burn. Never mind. I'm not gonna question anything. We haven't got a dual attack at all. Do we risk it? She's way back there. We'll risk it for a do. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what is the chance that he will dual attack? He's not on Unity. What's the chance that he dual attack over the one person with the twenty? That is. Don't counter. Don't have a. Don't be on a counter set. There we go. I was like, what are the chances he'll dual attack instead of her? <laughs> <Bloody> <laughs> Sid, 
Sid is definitely making a story for this next adventure. Like, I don't attack over ML Rana. JK, lol, she sucks. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna S3. It's gonna ignore effect res, but, uh. Ty Wayne. Oh, we gotta, we gotta counter her. We're gonna bring her back up. But the thing is, we are defense broken. We gotta hope we don't get crit. Please do your thing. So we got wild dog coming, which is honestly great. At this point, I should just end this now. I will not give in to despair. We gotta practice immortality now. We're gonna push up Landy with this. Please, Salvo. Heal up as much as you can from this. She is popping off now, and don't get crit from this. You lack discipline. And what do I do? Pop, pop. Do I need my sword? Uh, does he need a sword? Nah. <laughs> we don't need that sword. Mm, I love this S3 animation. It's so sick from like the very beginning. The lady's actually popping off. I guess that first game we did kind of fumble it because I said I was being I was being greedy. Holy sack. Do not falter. But see, lady actually popped off. This is the one game I actually seen her do the most. The most. That's all I can really say. But I'm still surprised. Did she Elvis once? You guys look at her recording. I might just put a giant text on the screen that says no. But I don't think she Elbris. I think she just counterattacks. She got the 30% over the Elbris. It makes sense. There's only one AoE. It makes sense. I'll not allow myself to grow complacent. Hey. That's true. They let his ML version grow complacent, even though they're different Taiwans, story wise. But <laughs> how did I do it? How did he do attack over the Sith? That's a it was, it was a three percent chance over a twenty one percent chance. We we lost that roll. All right, game number three. We was greedy on the first one, second one we went a little meta, and then the third one we went half and half. So like I said, we're gonna bring Albedo. We're gonna bring what's her face again, Abigail, and we're gonna bring Wreck Roar. Now Abigail to keep her alive. Because the light unit, she's only targeted her unless we hit Genoa. And then Elbedo is in her front only because she gave combat readiness when she uh, counterattacks. And also, since Genoa is going to be focusing on her, I've got to hope that she counterattacks multiple times. So we do have Rocket Punch and whatnot to do some stuff. And hopefully, her S1 says she can dual attack, right? I think I checked this before. And it doesn't say it can't, it can't not dual attack with somebody. And then bottom, we bought Emma, Luna, Top Model, and then Eligos. There's a lot of defense. Oh, this guild has a lot. This, a lot of defense has a Karina on it. Maybe they didn't update the defense. No. I haven't seen that her sound. I'm assuming they didn't update it. That's a fast Genoa. But my team isn't fast at all, so it makes sense. So we get minus speed. Owie. That hurts. That hurts real bad. And hopefully. You survived this. Hey, I need you not to strip off the immortality. That's the one thing I didn't need to happen. I didn't expect him to, to strip off the immortality from her. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that makes sense. You don't deserve my mercy. Um. There's no reason not to slow burn. You know so we're gonna slow burn this because everybody has a passive. And Elegos can hit ice units. Get rid of them. So we'll see if we get the defense break on her at least. We do have some effect that's like 20. <laughs> we do have at least 20 effect to this. Are you ready? Make a sensei. I feel like we can honestly kill her. If we got a defense break, we could kill her. If we kill her, the bomb will go into Celine. Do we risk it? We can kill Celine now. Yeah, I believe in my girl top model. I don't have a soul burn for this, but 
I didn't believe in her hard I enough. Gave you a <laughs> it's too late to say sorry now. <laughs> I have no more business to you. I didn't believe hard enough. I, I should have believed harder. We should have killed Celine. <laughs> I I greet it. I think you'll regret this. Victory is mine. No, oh, we lost this unless we get a dual prong attack. Make sure there's no witnesses. Oh, maybe they lose. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time out. You have one soul burn. You can do this, girl. Do this for the do this for the Reko shamans. Soul burn that's three. Do it for the shamans. Do it for Rec Roar. <laughs> Do it for the talent show. All right, I knew I had that in the bag. I didn't question it. No questions whatsoever. I knew, I knew we were gonna win that one. Oh boy. All righty. Let's hope they don't first ban this girl. If we get rid of this, maybe. I feel like since I'm first picking her, people are gonna ban her. Okay, cool, Blood Moon Haste. We pick more units to bring out. Now, my spirit eye is not like high speed, like 240. But I feel like she'll die. But we'll put Maya in the front since he is our fastest unit. By a lot. By a lot, a lot. And I don't think I could, like, I will fight. get her. This is the get Elena with an S3. Did you come to see me? I want to see if we can minus one their team. It's a requiem. This is actually good as she goes, but that's the only I really nobody else to really attack with. Who are you people? Yeah. Wandering souls. Grant me power. Just generate the souls real quick. I'm gonna this S3 to generate more souls so Mike is constantly soul burn her S2. I don't know how much effect this cuz I'll go for her. I will not lose. What's if we need those dual attacks? Proof? I'll nope. Prove my love to you. Come closer. Uh, I was that's it's not the it's the opposite of what I wanted, in all honesty. <laughs> it's literally the opposite of what I wanted. But I guess it works. Yeah. Oh, you got dual attacks. You got a dual, you got a unity set too. <laughs> you got a unity set too. I did not know that. I've got this. <laughs> I did not know you had a unity set. Elbry. We might just soul burn this one. I think when I soul burn, it doesn't dual attack, right? But since she crit, she will pop off. But she gotta be below half, that's the thing. That's why I got all this defense on her, Jesus. I didn't want it to come to this. The resistance is resisting. <laughs> you should rest now. <laughs> I like this. The resistance is resisting. Let me see if we can bonk her. Go, go, go. Did you come to see me? We need additional damage on her. Be careful. What are you looking at? I wonder why they didn't go for a spirit eye Celine. Like, maybe if you're new, you don't know that she can die if you don't have immortality, but you gotta get her below half at least. There you go, Unity. Children of the stars will be saved. They go to Unity. 
I think if they die, we can't do it. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter if we hit an S2. But as long as she has this thing, she can counterattack if you crit. And if my dust devil ever procked off, that'd be great. Oh, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, that worked out. She do have a soul burn. But we're above 50% HP, so... But we didn't crit, so we, we'll die here. Oh, we got a Dust Devil, finally! I was like, we're gonna get a Dust Devil! I was like, we finally got the Dust Devil! <laughs> this is why I don't go counter, but... We won! Good job, team. Good job. That worked out slightly better. I probably won't be streaming today, so anybody that look out for Metaphor, I probably don't only want to use that stream Metaphor by myself. I'm not very good at playthroughs. That's the whole point I started this YouTube channel to be better at talking and being social, because I'm autistic. But it worked out better. And this worked out well good. So no Metaphor today, no streaming, just be chilling, because tomorrow we're going to be streaming the E7 and Flynn. I'm hoping that I can get her. And I do have gear for her. I'll show you the gear real quickly. All right, so this is the set I'm currently willing to go for my, what is it, summer vacation plan. She's gonna use the HP set because 100% invasion, might as well make sure she doesn't get hit too hard. And you know, defense when it plays a little bit of effect. I just have a lot of defense pieces with the crit damage pieces as later on. As you tell about this piece, I just have later on, nobody can really use it. This, this helmet. If I can really use it, really, technically. This uh, weapon is 93. Looks pretty good. And then this. Obviously, I won't attack, but nobody can use this. And I just like let it sit and just send it around. And then this. I can change this uh, crit chance to attack percent. But I don't have a necklace. I don't know if I want to go crit damage. Well, crit damage deck will definitely be better than this necklace, right? Even though it's an attack necklace with slightly less, you know, crit damage. Unless I find something with like 32% crit damage. And if she has an artifact, she would hit like a truck and she has some max HP. But I don't have any uh, revenge pieces laying around, so I probably gotta go farm. Well, you. Eh, she's not on 200, but I'm pretty sure I can get 200 by removing this effect rate to attack. Hmm. But I'm on account of have the same alignment and whatnot and stuff like that, so. Hmm. <laughs> or I do with a uh, Spirit Eye. Spirit Eye? I could probably use Spirit Eye. I barely use Spirit Eye, right? I could definitely take this off of Spirit Eye and give Spirit Eye something better. Yeah, let's let's go with this set. I, got, I already got a set for her. And then this need to be reforged. And it'd be like at least 24 crit damage or whatnot. That seems good, don't it? Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, Flag come out tomorrow. And we'll be streaming some RTAs with her unless I don't get her. And I might have to pity her. I'm going to spin my sky so until I get like, I don't know, 400 at least. But anyway, see you guys around. Peace.